Fucking yeah. Hell yeah. Welcome yeah. to uh, Underhaven episode, I think it's 17. I can never keep track on it. It's like it's after 17. Episode, yeah, yeah. After, after, episode, after episode 10, I was like, I, I, I can't count. Fuck I can't it. do that. We'll do it live. I always go and look at it in the title right before I have to say it. And hopefully I can click on the window fast enough yeah. to bring it up. Otherwise, yes. I don't remember what number it is. Well, when you're I like got... in the 400s, then I can imagine that it's hard to keep track of. Yeah. I had a good laugh uh, at the intro because it said like internet culture and it showed a big head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> actually, that's, that's, I actually, I cracked up when I saw that too because it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, our good, our good old friend Egghead. Fucking kill me with this shit. Jesus Christ. Is he in here? <laughs> no, 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 I just played a no. sound bite. Yeah, oh my sound. god, I love that. Yeah. I thought you like blindsided me with Egghead. <laughs> No, this show is not good enough for that. No. We're not, we're not good, good enough, enough for Egghead. For Egghead. <laughs> That's fucking sad. Holy shit. I know. Like, where have we gotten to in life when we're not good enough for Egghead, huh? Damn. I don't know. I guess we're at uh, Von Helton's level. Oh, shit. I don't think Von Hel would Von Helton be on here. No, not not. No, for no, no, no. You, you have to roll out the red carpet for Von yeah. Helton to show up. Like you have to pay him. I think it was like two thousand. Two thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, he has a two thousand dollar appearance fee on any podcast that he's yeah. you know asked to go on. So wow, I bet he'd do it for two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh yeah, he'd do it for less if you yeah. actually like made him a genuine offer for like you know a de a decent amount. He'd he'd agree to it. Uh, That's ten all times less. Cool. I would pay him ten times less. Yeah, and he's asking he'd, price. Yeah, he'd probably agree. Yeah, actually, we have a Von Helton video queued up, so I could play it now since we're on the topic. <laughs> all yeah, right, go ahead. All right, we always so... start our shows like this. Damn it. <laughs> All right. So this is called Von Thinks things. He's President of the U.S. Talks Nuclear Gamer Plans and, uh, oh, Nuclear Game Plans and other bullshit. Before you started, I just want to point out, he always has a fucking plate of food yeah! in front of him. Some fucking pudding the fuck or out of it. Yeah, he does. Actually, we got a donation. Yeah. Uh, ben, could you tell uh, Dusty, the butterfly, that he's a beautiful bird or something? The, the butterfly? Him. Yeah, I don't know why. I think they uh, had a typo last time, and it auto-corrected to butterfly. I don't know how. No, it, Dusty the Flowers is what oh, it said. Oh, you Let know why? Check. You know why? Because it has the word cock in it, and you must have, like, <laughs> oh. a... Oh, my God. A, a profanity filter, so it, yeah, like, we gotta changes fix it. That. But a cockatiel, um, that's a type of animal. So like, doesn't it, matter. It, it, it picked up the word cock and changed it to, like, a pretty word. That's one of the Streamlab settings. You can make it, like... It'll change swear words to like nice words. Um, wow, that must be on by default then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah. Should, we, we have to change that because yeah. I don't I don't like the idea of like ch ch altering the things people say when they donate or some shit like that. Yeah, Dusty, no, fuck the that. butterfly is a beautiful bird. I was confused too because you said, "Oh, I must have spelt it wrong," and I was like, "How how <laughs> how could you spell that wrong?" Yeah, it it picked up the word cock. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah. So it's That's like hilarious. a Freudian slip. He thinks like cocks are on par with with flowers and other goodness. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's dive in. Yeah. Sniff. 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 And any day now, Vaughn. Any day now. Oh wait, he's. This is this yeah. Is yeah. Part the video is going. Yes. Yes. He doesn't <laughs> edit shit. And I'd say, okay, eat your fucking food before you make a video. I, <laughs> yeah. Okay. There, there's been a few times where I've eaten on camera, but that it was usually like during a long stream, like one like really long several hour stream. If I was just gonna make a ten minute video or even like a half hour video, like like Vaughn does, I would eat before. I would eat after. I don't, I don't have to eat every fucking video I make, but that's what he does. He's got a plate of some fucking cheap ass microwave food i feel like he and, can't and he, make a video unless he's like nomin on something while he does it you know he yeah has to have yeah that. oh the the hello kitty popsicle made me really uncomfortable oh. watching him eat oh. that. i think we played that on the show here before uh, didn't we something, something you should like send that. that to hello kitty and be like oh, oh how yeah do you feel about yeah. this it's the best ad ever no, we actually suggested that, you know, Von Helton could make an entire living off, you know, eating things, and the company no, pays no, no, him no. off never to eat actually, it again. No, that was Egghead. Oh, like, that was Egghead? videos about Oreos, and then we were like, we should send this to Oreo, and then have them pay yeah. him to not talk about their products. 
The same applies to Vaughn, though. I don't think either one of them is a desired mascot for anyone. I can, I can never unsee this. I read in a comment somewhere that Vaughn Helton is like Bill Maher's ugly brother. And now when I see him, I, I see Bill Maher. He looks like like the the uglier, like more hit up version of Bill Maher. He does. I've always said that he kind of looks like <clears throat> Bill Maher, but with Down syndrome. So I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> well, now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Finally. Oh, sorry. My bad. I shouldn't say that. Whoa. Hey, money. Thank you. Hey, Swag Thank Man you. Answer, when are you going to let Dusty uh, be a beautiful bird on Underhaven? I can't see the rest, but yeah, I mean, like, if you give us five bucks, yeah, we'll let we'll, we'll yeah, we'll, the bird on the show. Wow, five bucks. Yeah, the, we'll, the we'll trick have to we'll, making, we'll have Busty on. The trick to making that fit, it took me forever to figure it out. You got to have the font weight up really high, even like all the way up. But the font size, you should have it like in the low 20s and okay. everything will fit in a little box like that. All right. Yeah. Lessons, That's annoying. Le like, could, could they not just like have an uh, automated option where just like adapts it to a how, square? Like, yeah. Like yeah. how big the message is or some shit like that. Yeah. You'd think. Yeah, yeah. But no. <laughs> But it's free. I mean, like, that's the one thing. It's funny how much fucking money goes through Streamlabs, and they don't take a cut of it. It's they, insane. They did make an attempt at it, though, and people got pissed off. They had, like, they this uh, automated... Yeah, they had this automated <clears throat> bullshit that they hid for a while, and people caught on to it quick, so they backed away from that. It's kind of like how uh, Patreon attempted to, like, take a, a decent chunk of money out of the uh, yeah. donations people get. Yeah, it's like, you know, they, they kind of shovel that into, like, the TOS when they update it. And nobody reads it, so like you know, it took a while. But I got the uh, I got the Streamlabs All Star status where where they send you a hoodie, and right. uh, and they give you some free games, and then there's like a super secret Discord that only the uh, the Streamlabs uh, people get. You know, yeah, like the the, the All Star people. It's pretty cool pretty similar to what Discord does. Yeah. 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 It. it so I can go into their Discord. If I have any issues with Streamlabs directly, I can talk to someone that Sweet. works at Streamlabs right away. It's it's pretty cool. Thank you, Sam. Finally, and that's the guy who made yeah, our I was just intro. Say, th yeah. Thank you for the uh, beautiful intro. Oh, that's the intro. Oh, okay, so this person made that intro. Yeah, good, yeah. good on you. Who made the music? I don't know. I he, think he, he made it too. Yeah. Oh, cool. Those are his vocals. I'm I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, That's him. Wow. The bird. I, mean, I could get it set up, but I don't. I guess I'll look into it. If you have the way, Discord, we could do it. But yeah. I'm yeah. so happy that we reached our extra show goal. Yeah, yeah. On DP, yep. it's pretty that's fucking awesome. awesome. Yeah, yes. that's what we do here too. Yeah, we do. Um, we don't. The thing is too, like Thank bonus you, episodes, we don't we we don't reset that. So like you know, if if we don't meet the goal at the end of an episode, we'll just like continue where we yeah. left off in the following. Week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing the weekly thing, so it it'll reset. I think that makes more week. sense for DP. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I used to do per show goals, but now yeah, weekly things way better. Sweet, that's awesome. Has North Korea threatened to use nukes on the United States? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they have. Yeah. Okay. Has Iran threatened to use nukes on the United States? Yes. Yes, they have. Oh man. Get to the fucking so point. So why should I sit on my fat ass and let them launch nukes against us? Because there's nothing you can do about it, maybe. Because you're not our just... president? Yeah. But like this is this is like a typical thing where it's like if you know, if I was in charge, I would do this and that. It's like, well, you're not. So yeah. it's, it's a moot point either way. I don't even want to think about the alternative universe where Vaughn Helton's our president. So let's not let's not go down that path. What about please. uh what about an alternative universe? Oh, yeah, you made your goal. Good yeah. job. Thank you, Sinjay. Thank you. Um guess we'll be doing an extra show. But what about an alternative universe where Vaughn Helton didn't get kicked out of the army after a few weeks and <laughs> oh. becomes a fucking green beret? <laughs> Oh like no! Going around the world, uh, carrying out you know black ops on oh. people and shit. How about that? Or, or that he's makes on, me sick to my stomach, honestly. He's on SEAL Team Six. <laughs> yeah, the first the, the first person without teeth to be on the Navy SEALs. <laughs> Does easily launch nukes against them before they hit us with nukes, right? No. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> that's down not down how international years. policy should work. Have you ever heard of the Cold War and mutually assured destruction, Vaughn? No, let's just nuke them first. Oh, I'm sure that'll work fine. You know, I if mean, we nuke, nuke North Korea, then China's going to be just fine with that, right? Yeah, not to mention we're the only country who has a history of actually using nukes, nukes in warfare. Yeah. So it, it 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 doesn't look good. Really, it doesn't. It's, and not to mention, bad. like, th- this is not like a fucking Western duel where it's like, you know, you have to pull first. It, it's a bit more convoluted than just like, okay, we're, we're just going to hit the button before you do. If there's anyone out there who, like, you know, seriously, like, has a huge, massive hate boner for President Trump, and you know there's a lot of people on the left who do, just show them this video and be like, at least this guy's not your president. You know, it could be worse. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, the <laughs> the Trump supporters are getting a really bad rap now, thanks to the bomb guy. Oh, yeah, the bombing, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man. And there's yeah. so many... Uh, <laughs> There's so many people on the right saying that it's a false flag. It's hilarious. Of course it is. Anytime anything bad happens, it's a false flag. Oh, yeah. They, like, they, they don't care when a bunch of bombs are sent to, like, you know, major left-leaning people. But, you know, if Megyn Kelly is not allowed to go to a restaurant, then they fucking lose their mind. Just yeah. ridiculous, the outrage culture. Like, you know, people only care if it's on their own side of things. And it's getting worse and worse. Yeah, Trump talks shit about the Democrats all the time, but the one thing he won't do is like is uh, you know condone these kind of attacks. Yeah. And shit. Oh, definitely. He'd he'd be an even bigger idiot than he actually is if he did yeah. that shit, and he probably wouldn't be our president anymore. Like that could that could be a genuine means to impeach someone if they get I around like, supporting like them. Yeah. I like bombers whose bombs actually blow up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Call me oh crazy. my god. Damn. Actually, when he said that, I saw some people on Twitter be like, well, you know, <laughs> McCain's a beta cuck. He got caught. I'm like, this is... It... All right, right, fine. Yeah, okay, sure. He's a he's a beta male because he fucking got captured and fucking Fuck, interrogated. Dude, yeah. Donald Trump would not have survived the no. shit John no. McCain survived. No way. <laughs> Definitely not. Not for five fucking minutes. So the fact yeah. that he, he took that out on that dude... It's just, it's just fucking. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah, the fucking. Like, I'm, like, no, I'm no, I'm no fan of McCain, but he, he's better than Trump or was. And not just that. It's, it's a low blow. I mean, like, it's yeah. not even accurate. But even then, it's like that's yeah. just kind of fucked up. It is. Yeah, it really. Is. Yeah, it's just weird that no one really called that out. Like, no one on the right called that out. All the pro military called, people. Yeah. He just, he just basically called uh, prisoners of war shitty soldiers. For yeah. getting yeah. captured. It's like, what? What? How, how can this guy be in control of the military now? Well, they, they <laughs> never call it out because it, it's to their benefit not to do that. So it's like, yeah, we want this guy to win. Why should we attack him? I mean, like, it's... it's That's, typical why do they want him to win? Politics. He's disgraceful. He basically, like... Because he's not Hillary? That's yeah, and also, not. fuck the leftists. That's yeah, like... It, it, it's like... Fuck, fuck talking shit about football players you don't kneel. That's like so unpatriotic to say. That's like way beyond taking a knee during the national anthem, calling prisoners of war shitty soldiers. I love the troops, except for, you know, the ones that get caught. Fuck them. Right. Only (laughs) only Donald Trump with the immunity that he has could like get away with uh, basically insulting those types of people because he's because he has an R next to his name. He has like cultists. It's not yeah. just the R. It, oh, yeah. Has, like, it's yeah. who he is. You're, yes. you're right. I guess I'm supposed to wait until they hit us with a nuke. But- All right, should we just skip this? Cause we Whatever. Yeah, fuck topic. this. Fuck you, Von Helton. I'm sorry. I, I was, uh, I, I took some breaths through my special glass breathing tube, so it's hard for me to stay on topic uh, right now. Yeah, Damn. I know that feeling. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, it helps me with my asthma. It's a sure, uh, sure. prescription. The answer to the question of how a segment on Halloween costumes can go wrong. I think you guys uh, have talked about this on DP, actually. Yeah, this is this is CNN making a huge deal uh, out of something that I don't really. I mean, whatever. She had a, a she she's fine with blackface. Whatever. I don't even really care. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, 
It's only a problem because of the outrage culture. Like, people try to find, especially when it comes to, like, these right-wing pundits, people try to look for any excuse to, um, to take them down. It's really, uh, it's really sad. Like, uh, I, I remember, like, I, I know it's been kind of a decline, like, in the past few decades, but Halloween has just become more PC and more PC with every single fucking year. That's just like, wow, like, are we gonna get to a point where we have to, like, ask skeletons for consent to dress up as them is that like where we're going down <laughs> uh, yeah i don't know you're appropriating dead culture yeah bring on the burb swag thank and you. anime thank you j tim thank you. we might have to do that for um for next time but we will definitely have we will definitely have the bird on <laughs> fine we'll have the fucking bird yeah on. We'll, we'll have the fucking bird on we'll have the by bird. the way Drunken Punk sucks. Right, oh, shit. Damn. Sage uh, Wanderer, and it's time for story time with Uncle Sage. Ugh. So I've had a lot of requests for some more stories from my unusual life. And uh, so I've had requests for people to talk about any paranormal or uh, cryptoid experiences I might have had. And I actually do have a Bigfoot story. Oh, really? Damn, yeah, I'm surprised. Of course, of course he does. I actually do have one of those. Yeah, it's like, like I'm pretty sure everyone. I like, I like comes how to the casual channel, that is. Like, oh yeah, me too. We yeah, I've got a couple else. Bigfoot stories. Now, so like, okay, <clears throat> one of the reasons I've lived such an interesting life is because of who my dad was. And he goes on to talk about my daddy for a while, so I'm gonna skip past this. All right, all right. yeah, get to there the get go. to the juicy part. Is does all he right. live in an RV? Probably. Like, looking for gold. What is this? And, uh, that oh, and okay. Oh, wait, pause this for a second, Swagta, because I, I, know, I know what's going on here. Uh, Skep Talk Live showed us this guy, and uh, he basically did give a bit of backstory. So he makes every single one of his videos out of the back of his van. Yeah, oh. it looks like he has a shower curtain on a on a rope. Yeah, uh, as a curtain behind him. I don't think he what? lives in his van. I just think he makes videos out of the back of it for some reason. Yeah, it's uh, his studio. His, yeah, uh... yeah. That's weird. But this is uh, the story of how, when I was 14, we purchased a cattle ranch in the Oregon mountains above Gold And bought some magic Oregon. beans. Our nearest neighbor was a mile away, and that's where the mailman stopped. He didn't go over the mountain to our house. And we had to go one mile up the road to, just to get our mail. It was extremely remote. It was a 360-acre bowl in the top of the Oregon mountains in southern Oregon Siskiyou. <laughs> and... Um, uh, this is a place that is well known for Bigfoot encounters. Oh yeah. And uh, clearly, I'm a believer. I, I wear a Bigfoot jacket. A believer. <laughs> I've never heard that described before. Is like you and know. And I saw his face. Now I'm a believer. Now I'm a believer. Oh shit! We're gonna get flagged. Damn! 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 We are. I'll, I'll edit it out in post. Yeah, that's out. because yeah, because that sounded exactly like the monkeys singing it. So that's <laughs> how you know you're gonna get flagged. Yeah. Especially how I went off key and kind of rushed it near the end to just get that's, through the joke I was making. Yeah. That yeah, that's like fucking. That sounds exactly like Davy Jones. Davy Jones. He was the one of the singers for the monkey. Oh, okay. Davy Jones. And um, this is why. So we had just been to the cattle auction and we had purchased a strawberry roan. This is what the color was called. A speckled. Uh, I swear to God, this is like a Jack and the Beanstalk story. <laughs> and <laughs> when we were unloading it, this 300-pound calf got away from us and busted through an electric fence and went <laughs> into the woods. Yeah. So okay, it, it actually all ties into it. I know he's long-winded, but I had to play all of this just to get to this part. All right. And so we spent the day looking for the lost cow, and which included us walking through the woods calling out to the cow to try to get it to maybe call back like its mother and if you've ever been around cattlemen <laughs> <you're> says, <laughs> yes. so they roamed around the fucking woods attempting to uh do an impression of like a a, a cow mom calling for its uh, infants drunken punk is an insane bunnies weirdo bunnies okay that was the word that replaced it bunnies oh my god i gotta fix this right now Fuck this! I'm not even waiting. I'm gonna. Like, it's in the donation setting. Settings. Donation settings yeah. is where you go. All right. Lawyers cool. are gonna get involved. I, I know no one watching this gets that, but the person donating gets it. So that's good enough. For <laughs> okay, you. that's that's good enough. Cattle call, and it kind of sounds like this. Excuse the loudness. Oh, cow! 
Come on, cow. Ha. Ha. Come on, cow. Ha, cow. So we went through the woods looking for this cow, and finally we gave up. We tried to track it, and its tracks went over itself and circled around, and we never did uh, find the cow, uh, the little heifer. And so it was getting towards the end of the day, and I went out onto the edge of our fenced property and began, prepare, uh, began uh, uh, repairing a fence. And How does this all tie together? This all oh, ties together. He's okay. gonna get to it now. So like, okay. they bought a cow. They fucking lost it. They looked for it. They couldn't fucking find it. So now he's repairing a fence nearby. Out there, uh, you know, basically, I think I was digging a post hole. I heard someone, I believed, call out from the edge of the woods. But it sounded like uh, a person who's not right in their head. I won't use the R word because I guess it's politically incorrect to say that word. We'll say mentally challenged person. Oh, my God. So uh, this guy believes in all this crazy shit, but he's still like, no, I won't say that word. It's a bit too, you know. Yeah, this is just, that, that's just <laughs> silly. I mean, come on. S speaking of that, by the way, I let the Anyway, here's off. my conversation with Bigfoot. Sorry. Go yeah. Ahead. That's a lot more reasonable of a position to have, right? That Bigfoot's real than to, to say words like that. Damn. It was yelling out at me, and it was right there at the wood line. And it sounded like this. Okay, that's not insensitive at all, though, right? Like yeah. calling, some, calling someone a retard, that's insensitive, but making those types of noises... I'm not offended yeah. at all. I'm, I'm not going to say this word, but they sounded like something that begins with an R, and they made this noise. Yeah, yeah. And he literally did, like, the most in insulting noise that you could possibly muster. The drunken punk video. I, the thing is, like, when Asa played it, he provided context. I don't I don't feel like I could do a good job at that, but I'll look into it. Maybe we could do that. I, I don't even know what it is, but I'll look into it. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it freaked me out. So that freaks you head. out. Yeah. Freaks me <laughs> out, out, man. Gave me the shivers. Gauge twelve shot, uh, twelve gauge shotgun, which I always carried with me when fence mending. And uh, huh? see, th see, that's that's assuring. You're all <laughs> you're always armed with a fucking twelve gauge, just in case. Yeah, I when know. he's Who's fence the... mending. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, what? maybe, the, maybe the fence will turn bad on me and attack me in my. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. And they mirrored me back. <laughs> and I said, hey, quit messing with me. I got a gun. I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> oh my God. So I immediately, part of me thought this doesn't sound human or it sounds What like does this have not... to do? Oh, this is Bigfoot, right? This yeah, is the, Bigfoot. The, the video is entitled My Conversation with Bigfoot. So yeah, wait. that's how Bigfoot talks. <laughs> His best way to describe Bigfoot is like a mentally challenged dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it couldn't be like an animal or maybe the cow you lost or something like no. that. No, it has it has to be Bigfoot. <laughs> and I like how like e even after realizing like this is not something that can verbally communicate with me, he he makes an <laughs> attempt like I have a gun. I'm warning you, <laughs> whoever. Yeah, you yeah, he tries to reason with it. Damn. Uh, right, it scared me. It scared me good. I mean, it was right inside the tree line. So I ran down the house and got my dad, and he grabbed his rifle. How old you just were said you? you had a you just said you had a gun. Why would you need like a no? Yeah, <laughs> this is bullshit. This is bullshit. Or, or he, maybe it's not bullshit, but he's like you know clearly adding like some some parsley here. Some he some is. Spice. Let me gather up yeah. the local <sighs> militia. We're gonna take on. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big boy. Yeah, he went up there, coming for you, big boy. Uh, thinking that this was some kind of prank played on us by a cattle rustler rustler who had stolen our cow. So. <clears throat> If you haven't heard my stories in the past about my dad, he he was a, a come to find out not a real Native American, but we believed we were Native Americans, and he lived the Native. Is this the ancestor of Billy the Fridge? There's yeah. another fucking example. Yeah. White people always thinking they're Native American yeah. all the time. Uh, yeah, uh, it's funny how much that's been that's came up recently. It's but, always yeah. Cherokee. I'm I, I'm part Cherokee. Oh, yeah. You know this guy thought he was Cherokee. The Cherokees, they got around back in the day. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah, they got around They got around because they kept getting forced by the government to move other places. Yeah, well. They just kept, like, you know, sleeping with random white women, and they were just like, I'm going to just go get a pack of smokes from the gas station. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. 
John Apparently Redcorn. they spread their genes like uh, Genghis Khan, according to how many people think that they're Native American, so. Yeah. Yeah. John Redcorn. <laughs> Very competent tracker. Shoring with the eagles. And so we went into the woods looking for the cow, and what we found were giant footprints. Oh, shit. Couldn't you know, be anything else other than a cow, right? You know, I was like, Dad, we need to take pictures of these. We need to make casts of these. You know, we need to do some Bigfoot research. <laughs> And he said, look, the last thing I want is a people, bunch of people up here tracking around on my ranch looking for cryptoids. And, you know, he didn't say cryptoids, but looking for Bigfoot messing up my cattle operation. Cryptoids? Like, cryptoids. Bit, like Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I, I, I'm, I'm fucking around. <laughs> cryptoids are, I guess Swag doesn't know what that means. That's like the mythological creatures that people think are real, like the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot. That's basically what it means. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I think it's actually cryptids, but, you know, this guy's stupid, so he said it's cryptoids. cryptoids. Instead. Crypt yeah. Cryptoid looking, currency. Cryptoid they're looking, currency. They're looking for androids. <laughs> but out of curiosity and uh, also still looking for this. What's that? Power. Is that currency that Bigfoot uses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he signs into, like, a, what was it, Silk Road and, and gets some cheap ones Yeah. using cryptoid. We went, uh, cryptoid deeper currency. Deeper into the woods, which were completely uh, wild and untouched by man. And as we tracked a track here, a track there, we got deeper and deeper into the forest. And um, we encountered the strangest thing that I honestly I think I've ever seen. I would a pile not. Of bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I would not, could not track them here. I would not, could not track them there. <laughs> <laughs> what the I fuck? can't and I won't. But this I guy will. really should like be the inspiration for some new age versions of Doctor <laughs> Seuss style. You know, this guy could be the next one. <laughs> yeah. You know, usually when yeah. uh, we we check out people who uh, just say shit that just isn't true at all, it kind of uh, upsets me in a way. But with this guy, it's kind of like you know, I like him more because of that. Yeah, yeah. It just it makes yeah. it all the more entertaining. It'd be so. boring if he if he didn't have all these crazy ideas. Kind of like G Man. Like if G Man was just like this vanilla toast guy who was like, no, you know, every you know, if you're a Christian, if you identify as it, no, it's a lot funnier to hear him be like, you're not a Christian because I deem you not to be one. You know, it makes these people more interesting if they're not pieces of shit like Brett Keen. And I guess Vaughn's would fall in that category too. A lot of people don't like G Man. You know what? The first time G-Man ever uh, said no to coming on DP was when we had that last guy from Non Sequitur. From Non Sequitur on, yeah, because yeah. apparently he doesn't. Uh, G-Man really do doesn't seem to like Steve McRae and those, you know, the, those types of people because he did some fucked up shit involving him. But you know, whatever. Do you think it's crazy though? Come on, our show after we played the video of him, you know, who G-Man? Yeah. Um, maybe. I, I'm I'm skeptical to say that he would because he's uh he hasn't gotten back to uh, the geek room when they asked him to have when they asked to have him on, so <laughs> I don't know maybe maybe come on ours because we have a bit more connection to DP and that's really all he seems to care about is you know if he can get some exposure because that, that that's you know he said on DP once that that's why he likes to go on the show so that way he can try and bring some of the viewers to God. Even though I think that he's doing quite the opposite. Right. But yeah, he might come on here. He might come on here. I'll ask him someday. Why not? It's just hard to contact him, you know? He, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's uh, elusive. <laughs> one, one of my friends, one of the mods who's in the chat right now, uh, Flashfire Live, he, he, he called into one of G-Man's hangouts recently and argued with him for like 30, 40 minutes. I'm like, why would you waste your time on G-Man? But it was funny, so whatever. Yeah, all, last night I put out, like, a casting call for uh, prank calls. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, and I asked people to send them to the inbox, uh, but it, that, there were some rules. I, like, I said that I said that they uh, they had to be to, like, public numbers, so, like, businesses. Yeah. And, and there can't be anything illegal about them, like, no uh, pretending to be, like, a, the, the police or anything stupid like that. Would uh, Ben be willing to let Dusty the Bird rap battle G-Man on one of his shows? Dusty I think that's the, a question to Dusty the to Bird doesn't DC. speak, so I don't know how that's possible. You have to get you'd have to get like Marshall Manson to do like a, a remix of his like bird bird noises. 
<laughs> and then play that against G-Man. I uh, bet he'd win. Have, have Marshall do a rap and then just play that over uh, the bird. Yeah. I don't yeah, want to yeah. just hand G-Man a victory because the uh, person he's rap battling against well, can't you know, actually speak. G-Man always wins, so it's yeah, not going to make a difference like, anyway. No matter who G-Man's up against, he always he'll always wins. So, like, yeah. that doesn't matter. The immovable object, G-Man. There were trees about this big around at their trunk. So I would say maybe three to seven. I don't know how much more I can take of this. Trees. Yeah, I think I'm good. More I can... When it gets yeah, to the I'm point like, where somebody begins talking about trees, I'm just kind of like, you know what? This You've lost yeah. me. I'm I saw this tree and it was really fucking thick, guys. It's like, okay, let's move on. I don't want to oh, hear you humping, humping trees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you love this, this that is a, top. This is an old one. Yeah, I've seen this one before. Night. This, yeah, damn, she's got like some some boobage going on. Yeah, some tickle bitties. Thank you for the yeah. bits. What do you think uh, the like casting call for like uh you, you know the person to play this character in this commercial was like? Must have big tits. Yeah. Did yeah. you see the person who donated to us just said, "Would you watch ads for Underhaven?" Wow, that's weird. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's funny that that happened immediately after we watched this. Yeah, but yeah clearly I, I, we will. I like the way this scene is set up. It's like he's just staring down her cleavage. And her cleavage. Like, yeah, you, you you know you want it to look like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no woman, no woman wants pe guys to look at their tits, right? <laughs> I but mean, in the office. it depends on who it is. You sure, know. sure. Yeah, 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 but yeah. This ad makes out to be like every woman needs a cami secret, though. Yeah, let's let's see. It's so, it's How, so dumb what it is. Yeah, yeah. How is it a secret if it's on TV as an ad? Oh, you'll it's, see. You'll okay. See. Just not right. You've tried safety pins, but they leave <laughs> holes and just look wrong. And with a camisole, What's wrong? you end up tugging and adjusting all day long. Well, now there's tugging at those secret, big old meat the new bags. An accessory that looks just like a camisole, but watch closely. Watch because closely. Here's the it's a napkin. <laughs> it's a napkin. Yeah, it's a bib. Uh, yeah. Look at how quickly her fucking smile died. Like, all, all fucking, uh, <laughs> yeah. all confidence and, and joy gone. Like a this is like really what I'm advertising, huh? Uh, 1495. 14.95. 14.95, okay. Here's the real secret. Uh, I think it's... Uh, 9.99. I, 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 I also think, think it's 9.99 for two of them. Yeah. For two. Or three, maybe. Okay. Yeah, the yeah they'll give you more than one. It's a yeah. fucking cloth. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Attach quickly and easily right to your well, it's bra got, like, straps. Some hooks you can on even it. adjust your Oh yeah, come on. That's those are high quality. Come on. It looks like a fucking bib. It up or down. Yeah. So Definitely you can is. decide just how much cleavage you'll show. Unlike regular tank tops that ride up and down, Cami Secret stays securely in place, so it's more comfortable to wear. Self-conscious about wrap tops that come open and leave. <laughs> what the hell is that? Just uh, wear a different fucking top if you're gonna that. go on a date like that. It's like look at come yourself. On. You can't do that. Pops, Look at yourself open. putting out your tits on the first date. Uh -huh. Have some this decency, wrong. woman. Yeah. Red X, red X, <laughs> this <Yeah>. wrong. <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's something the commercial doesn't like because everything's in grayscale. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Red funny. X, wrong. Meanwhile, in the 30s... you expose <laughs> yeah. a secret, you can enjoy wearing oh, all your clothes. You get drunk, girl. You get That's your how the modern girl. woman does it. Yeah. Yep. Each cami secret is made of soft, breathable material with a beautiful you look like a fucking and granny. It's available in a variety Perfect of designer colors. colors. Pins it looks like underwear holes. that you just. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's like an underwear looking napkin it's, or something. It's tiny cut up panties that you put on your tits. <laughs> basically. So then why not just do that instead? <laughs> uh, <laughs> because do you really want to be that person that says, "Hey, what's on your what's on your shirt?" Oh, I cut up some panties, you know, to hide my cleats. <laughs> oh no, no, it's it's way better to just tell them like, "Oh, I saw this fucking stupid ad on TV, and I bought a napkin yeah. that I now have like on my cleavage." Yeah, actually, it, actually, it's a secret. It's my cami secret. <laughs> yeah. Damn. In your clothes, like cami secret attaches to your bra, maybe it's maybe so maybe. you can wear all your favorite tops without ruining them. No, honestly, these women look amazing. Like they look great. Like, seriously, Neck like, they look so much dresses, better because of the cami secret. Of color I'm glad top. I can't see Even their Even a plain button-down shirt looks so much better. So you can expand your wardrobe and get a layered look without adding bulk. Machine washable, one size it fits looks all. Weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's fucking weird. 
It's one weird. size fits all? No, I don't. I don't let's think see how much. Let's see how much it, it, see how much it costs. They all could right. just get a shirt that doesn't have like a V neck like that. Yeah, there's plenty of shirts like that. Just because the neckline's too low, call oh, now shit. and get your cami secret for just ten dollars. Uh, 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 black, uh, beige, oh. and white. That's pretty close. That's pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Oh my god. Dusty the Bird wants Perfect. Ben to do his impression of his human? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, hold on, gotta fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I think Dusty's owner is, like, you know, a distant relative. I, I think he might be cousins with Manny, that's my little conspiracy theory. Manny. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Keep all your necklines perfect, day or night, but call so right not, now. Okay, they're just replaying the same shit. Yeah, yeah, we, we know, we, we, we got, we got the, we got the price, nothing else matters. Oh yeah, it was three, it was three. Nothing really matters. Alright, so I guess we have yeah, the most granny colors possible, besides black, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Black. Oh, black. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, I, I knew that we had to play a Chris Chan video, though, when Ben Oh, was what is that toy? <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Okay. My little so, pony, my little I'm ashamed, pony. I'm ashamed to admit that I know what this is. Uh, but, yeah, that's okay. why I asked you, because I thought you would know what it is. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, so I, that, I thought you guys were talking about that, Chris Chan. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No. no. The, so the, that, that, the that, toy. That, yeah. That's, uh, that's a My Little Pony. That that what you're looking at is a My Little Pony. It has but it's the, arms. It's, it's not a pony. I know. It's a special line. No. It's a special line of toys. It's a special line of toys that they have where they're girls instead of ponies. The characters are girls <laughs> instead of ponies. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. And I guess Chris Chan's an <laughs> avid fan. <laughs> they, they they have like movies and everything all about like <laughs> the ponies as as, as kids or. Or high school girls, Cameron more accurately. To you live from home with a paid message. By the way, this is as, as loud as I can get it, so... Okay, that's good enough for to me. To the internet trolls. <laughs> or specifically, the Kiwi Farms. Oh, no! Oh my god. And I'm censoring the language. Hey there, so, everybody! It's your so, old pause for a sec. Okay. Someone... So, I, so what, what I gather... We'll we'll watch this and determine for ourselves. What I gather is that he was uh, he was paid to diss Kiwi Farms by like a patron or something. So this is another one of all all Chris Chan basically does these days is paid videos, if you've noticed. So this is just another one, but he's calling out a website of all things, which is probably full of fucking trolls that are just gonna shit on him even more because of this. It's it like, is. What? It's it's it kind of like if you, if you took like Encyclopedia Dramatica and and turned it into a forum, you would have Kiwi Farms. Yeah, exactly. And that and that's the thing too. Uh, so a troll clearly paid him to do this. I'm sorry, clearly paid her to do this. You know, just so that she would get into shit with people at Kiwi Farms. It's like how could you fall? Like I I know that she needs the money, but how could you like? Why would you do that willingly? I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous. Man. Lauren Armstrong. Why is it flashing? Is there like a is there like a group of photographers in there? Yeah. Kiwi Farms. Kiwi. I, I mean, uh, Chris Chan is followed by an entire like entourage at all times. You didn't know that. Yeah. Paparazzi. Yeah. Actually, I think I think there's probably like a TV on or something. Yeah, probably. That's what's going on. Probably. Yeah. Surprised he's not eating though. Anything. <laughs> I'm the only one who zipped to see her badge. What? What? This is like really la- Oh, this was like really laggy for me. I don't know what's going yeah. on. Yeah, Maybe it's because it's not a VLC. Well, whatever. Fuck it. It's Chris Chan being a, being a bitch. <laughs> whatever. Pedro, Pedro's like money well spent. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh my Good God. use of your time. So this, uh, th this is kind of recent. Uh, it came out last night. Oh, okay. Yeah, this. I saw this. So, uh, Europe court upholds ruling against woman who insulted Islam. So, um... <laughs> uh, uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm not surprised. What the fuck is so, this? 
So I, I could read, read it before, but now time. it's like it's been long. Okay, fine. I'll just go to like another source then. Fuck this. Yeah, I just look. Insert. Uh, no, I'm really not surprised that uh, that this type of shit happened, though. I guess I'll just fill the air as you look. But yeah, like when it comes to Europe and, and like especially countries that are you know in the EU, actually. Yeah, I, don't I know mean Europe's nice and all, but but uh, Firefox is kind of fucked. So we're just gonna ditch that. We'll talk about the subject matter. So all right, all right. Here's what happens. So, like, uh, a woman in the UK, I think, um, oh, of course, described the, the, the um, Prophet Muhammad as a pedophile. So Okay, an accurate truth. Yeah, was... but they're like, they're like, okay, you know, you, you can't do that. That doesn't fall under free speech. So, yeah, well, yeah, it does. That's <laughs> kind of the, the point behind free speech. You know, sometimes yeah, especially the especially if it's something that's factually allowed. true. Yeah, so, sometimes, you know, just... you know the, the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. They do this kind of thing in Indonesia and Singapore too, where like if you insult someone's religion, it's an actual crime. Yeah, isn't it sad too though that the UK is starting to act like a Muslim country when it comes to enforcing these types of things? I mean, there was yeah. a I I read last year there was a there was a town in England where they were flying the English flag, not not the British flag, like you know the uh, the the Saint David's cross or whatever it is, the like you know the red cross. Yeah, the red at yeah yeah, yeah the red cross yeah and. Uh, Muslims got offended by it, so they took it down from like the town hall or whatever in in an English town. And I look at that type of shit, and I'm like, man, you, every time you guys do this type of shit, you're just giving like these white nationalists like more reason to do the fucked up shit that they do. Yeah, like, like Joshua really? Bonehill. Yeah. Oh yeah, Joshua Bonehill. <laughs> I'll have to send you a video of his one day, Ben, because Bonehill. Yeah, Bonehill. Bonehill. Yeah, a barrel roll. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you saw this, Swegta, but there were some people on Twitter that were are from the UK. They're like anti-fascist or something, and they 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 really got a kick out of us talking about Joshua Bonale. Oh yeah, I saw that. They thought you were an American too, by the way. They, yeah, they did, and they kept talking about uh the video, and I'm like, okay, it's cool, you know, it's getting out there. But then they went off topic, and you know, I still get notified when they talk. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Like responses, so I'm like, don't tag you, me, please. Like, can you guys just take this somewhere else so that it's not at Swagta anytime you say anything in this conversation? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that was cool. I but if you guys are watching yeah. that, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like um the, the Von Helton shit. You know, like if, if yeah. you talk about a specific person long enough yeah. and they have a bunch of haters, then uh, you're going to amass an audience consisting of that at least somewhat. That's true. That's true. That's why there's so many people that are still like, talk about Brett Keen. Talk about Brett Keen. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, we could. It's up to you. Uh, no, no. We don't have no? to do that. Okay, we'll, we'll yeah, skip We don't that. have to do that. Yeah, we'll skip it. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah, no, save that video for another time because, you know. All right. I'll just, I'll play this instead. So, um,. Ben, I don't know if you know this, but it, it's a shame to have long hair, and this guy's going to tell you why. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, we saved this for him, didn't we? All right. Yeah. Let's Second hear it. Nature teach us it's for shame for man to have long hair. Yes. No. It's a shame. It is. For man. For man. To have long mm -hmm. hair. Preach it. It's a shame for man. <laughs> or to have boys. Long hair. It's a shame, my friend. It say it's a shame. Didn't Jesus Wait, supposedly have long hair? <laughs> I <really> yeah. Like... <laughs> <laughs> wow. You you pretty much just destroyed this whole video in like one one sentence. Yeah. yeah didn't like... your Messiah have long hair? Uh, no, no. I think I'm pretty sure most people had long hair then. Yeah. Like, it's true. And in that yeah. part of the world. Oh, thank Knuckles you. Chaotix. What? Who's Ben's favorite reoccurring TV guest named Dusty? <laughs> Wow. Um, <laughs> what? Do they want me to say the cockatiel? I guess, yeah. I, I assume they want you to mention the one that keeps paying you money to be on. Because that would be yeah, my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite too, because he sends us money. No, I'm just uh, and I, he's I, a beautiful I like, bird. I like, I like, yeah, yeah. He, he's beautiful. S a sexy bird. I threw that one in for free. So, Whoa, yeah. hey, come on. <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine if he came to me later and was like, "I don't, I don't like you calling my bird sexy. Don't, don't sexualize my bird." <laughs> Damn. Don't talk to my wife's son ever again. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why I'm saying this shameful man and long hair because finally, after saying it five times, right now you can't tell the difference between a man 
<laughs> and a woman. <laughs> See, can you identify that looks the like a gender woman. of this person? Man. Yeah. That looks like a woman, yeah. I cannot even tell. I can't tell. Holy shit, is that know. Nicki Minaj on screen? Maybe. I don't it's know. a man. It's a drag queen. That's She's a drag queen. She's looking masculine, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, no commentary at all. We're just gonna yeah, look at what, some what is going on here? Black hey, people. The guy because men, especially little boys, they have a long hair. Every time they pat in their head because they want to miss Most of the time, so, most of the time so boys what? don't have long hair. It's men. But why didn't God just make it so that our hair can't grow long? It just like just falls out yeah. when it gets to a certain length. And then that it does already hair. happen for some people, so why wouldn't it just be like you know short hair for everyone? Yeah, just make it easy. Everybody's well, no. a skinhead now. Black hair. Because God wants to give you the decision to be a man or a woman, and it all depends not on what's between your legs, but what's on your head. So what? Bald, bald woman? What? What if someone has cancer? Are they not a man or a woman? Like, how's this guy? How's this guy's logic work? Like, if you're bald, like. What about Tim Black? Is he is he not a man? No. No. You know okay. uh, You know Sikhs aren't supposed to cut their hair. Yeah. Oh yeah? yeah. Yeah, they're not men they, then. They have a ton of fucking hair under the turbans that they wear. Yeah, I mean like like we said, what about uh people in the past? You know, cuz I mean like getting your hair cut, it, that that's not a luxury people have had from the beginning of time. Yeah, the crow magnons and shit. What about them? <laughs> Yeah, why the fuck would it be necessary to cut your hair? Dude, you know. <laughs> I look at Neanderthals all the time, like depictions of them, and I'm like, wow, these look like women. <laughs> Just like <laughs> They em. look like women. The yeah. most elegant feminine thing I've ever seen. Yeah, the Neanderthal. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. Uh, we we bred with them it, it, to extinction. Yeah. yeah so true. someone thought it looked good and wanted to... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody looked at them and they're like, hey, let's fuck him to death. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a shame for a man to have long hair. Yeah, we get it. And it's a shame, my friend. This is kind of like a song lyric, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, let me let me do the intro repeating the chorus four times and then I'll jump into it. Yeah, yeah. For a man, glory to God, to have long hair. Glory to God. We live in a sad, sad And this has nothing to do with you being bald. Yeah. Oh yeah. This isn't about inadequacy or anything. No. Yeah. Where men want to dress like women, and it become a shame. What you talking about? They are weird. Okay. There's a difference heads. between having long hair and being a fucking you know trap. Yeah. Like Jesus. I don't know what you're like, talking uh, about. Oh yeah. It's, it, no, it's the same thing. If you have long yeah. hair, then you. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you're basically wearing you know like women's clothing. Same thing, same shit, right? A total homo. <laughs> and now a he's homo getting into, sexual. Uh, now he's getting into like earrings and makeup and stuff. We should watch some old like fifties PSAs. Will Smith. If you... Will Smith? Yeah. 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 Is that a man or a woman? Holy shit! Can't tell <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. Will Smith doesn't even have long hair. I know. Such I a... know. He's he's always had short hair. Yeah. No, but he's got earrings, so that's close enough. Oh yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh he's, no! He... <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I, I look think at that... that. Look at that feminine jawline. Can't even tell. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. An ad just gave you seventy-five bits. Wow, that's that's quite a bit. Are you fucking yeah. serious? Holy Did shit! You, I watched like, like an yeah. ISIS ad or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn. What was that? Thank you for your bits. I man, that you. makes me want to stream on Twitch again. Yeah, you 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 should. You should. People toss us bits here and there. It's good. Hey, bro, yeah. They wear plaits. They wear twists. Twists. They, they wear skirts. Yeah. Just Why? usually the twists. Skirts. Skirts. <laughs> oh my god. I guess he like went to Scotland and then he saw some kilts. And yeah. Like, <laughs> wear pantyhose. Wear bras. Oh, pantyhose. Bras. Dude, he's got like he's got like the gay lisp. Yeah, himself. he does. He does. Y you just He's noticed, got yeah. Actually, some bras. here's what happened. So, like, you know, I, I was looking for content Jesus for Underhaven, Christ. like, I don't know, a few months ago, yeah. and I, I just typed in like, you know, atheism or something, because I'm like, I, I guess we'll riff on like some arguments. Yeah, I do that sometimes too. And so, yeah. like, the first thing I see is a video by him where he's like, "Atheists are lost." I'm like, "Atheists." Oh, okay. I guess we'll play this then. So yeah. now he's uh, 
one of the official Underhaven antagonists. Having yeah, long well, hair makes you a tranny. Antagonist. Yeah. yeah. And having earrings too. Even if even if like you're just like any of the other men he showed in the picture, where like they have buzz cuts or something, and you have earrings. Yeah. This guy is another one of those dudes who has his own language too. You know? Get rid of him. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, he sucks. CIA. He blows. It's time for the CIA to kidnap this guy. No. Yeah, I don't dress him up. That. Dress him up in I, women's I clothing like it. he's always wanted. Yep. Okay, that's fine, but I I do not condone anybody maiming have, this person. Have have <laughs> uh, Von Helton perform some black ops on this guy? Oh yeah, yeah. Von, Call if you're watching this. Strike. Von, if you're watching Evil this, I know you love must, our show. Evil e. must be punished. Punished. Oh my god, the first time I saw that intro, I literally just fucking died. Like, I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, is this real? Yeah. I, I had like a, one of those I, I moments I'm to- where you laugh so much Sorry. that your face begins to hurt. Yeah, I had that. that was one of those for me. I don't think oh. that was the intended result when he made that, but I had the, it. The other night, I was playing Mario Kart with Billy, and Billy said something so retarded that I just had to stop playing and just like <laughs> laugh my ass off. I could not concentrate. I don't even remember what he said now. I'd have to go back and watch it. But it was Damn. so retarded that it just made me laugh unbelievably hard. And yeah, I just could not awesome. play. All right, I guess so. Uh, we'll move on to one final video. Ah! Uh, wrap this up. No! No! So, uh, about leaving YouTube. It's yeah. Mario. Yeah. I thought, I thought you were gone, Mario. Hey, Faye family, it's Brother Mario. He I said he was going to move to Twitch. <laughs> I wanted to do a follow-up to yesterday's video yeah, but Twitch is where satanic. we talked about oh, yeah. is there be... a true power behind a witch, an occultist, a Luciferian, who does a black magic ritual? Can they <laughs> actually put a hex on someone? <laughs> yeah, can they? Good question. <laughs> no. I've always pondered this. <laughs> it's like, I just... I actually... I, Hey, I YouTube, I just got back from contemplating recently. this on the Tree of Woe. Here's my answer to this question. This age I saw question. something on the news recently where it was like CNN or something, and they, like, legit, like, they interviewed some people who were trying to place a hex on Donald Trump. So yeah, I actually, think... um, I was on uh, the Geek Room a few days ago, and they played that. Um, oh, yeah, that's so where I saw that. That, that is where yeah. I saw that, yeah. Yeah. And what yeah, so this, this must be a response to that, I guess. I Let's think so, see. Yeah. The, ba- the, ba- the Bible. The Bible? The Bible? The Bible? The <laughs> Bible? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you have Dude, that. That was like by instinct. I was like, oh, let me quickly cue this up. Yeah, yeah. The supernatural yeah. power of Satan. And we looked at the different Bible scriptures to support this. Bible? Now, in response the to the Bible, I knew some brothers and sisters would find it to be too irrational. And I've noticed this, that Gee, I wonder why. have a hard time yeah. accepting the supernatural worldview that the Bible clearly tells us is a reality. So if you are a Christian... So that proves it, because it's oh, yeah. so. Because the book yeah. said it. Yeah. Christian, you the say book, you though, believe. right? The, the Bible. Leave the Bible. You must accept a supernatural. The Bible. The Bible doesn't teach anything the else. The Bible. So what I wanted to do today oh is discuss my God. this type of Christian <laughs> that is within the church that has a hard time digesting the reality of the supernatural. Hard realm time digesting and the bullshit. Not being yeah. able to. It's like oh, I don't know. You know skepticism. That it's fuck so skepticism, pesky. right? Just gets gets in the way. You know, maybe you should just. Maybe Everyone who disagrees reject. with me is a yeah, skeptic. Like, don't think individually. Don't be like a, a skeptical person in any regard. Just like buy this this shit I'm feeding you now. Ben, people have called you a skeptic before, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I I seriously can't believe that. They like, they they label you something based on who you hang out community. with. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. But that's the thing though, like you don't you don't make videos about that type of shit at all. Like you don't make videos about fucking Rebecca Watson or Anita Sarkeesian or what's not new with really. fucking Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a lot no. different. It's Dusty's so human is going to be on vacation. Ten uh, I'll I'll take a look at the schedule. DM me on Discord and we'll work things out. We'll do Just that. let me know. That's Thank probably good though. Understand. 
understand such things, is not equipped as much to be able to engage in the spiritual warfare that we as believers are constantly going and being put through. So let's go ahead, guys, and get right into it. Now, the the premise We're of just now getting into this. Damn. There's okay. a large amount of people who go to church every Sunday. They identify themselves as Christians, but they have a hard time accepting the reality and the I hate how he talks with his hands. No, he's he's French. You're just saying that because he's Italian. Come on. I think it's because he's not Italian. He he's like French Canadian. Oh, uh, yeah, not Quebec. But he doesn't even have an accent, so I think English is probably his first language. Oh, definitely, and, yeah. And, I mean, he fucking... I don't know. I think this is when he's manic. I think he's bipolar, and he has manic days, and he has depressed days. So, yeah, it seems like that. Like, especially on how the type of videos he makes. Like, half the time they're crying, and half the time they're, like, you know, that's, all upbeat that's and why. positive. Yeah, that's why. I, I'm not an expert. I can't diagnose him, sure, but sure. that's just how it seems. It seems like he has these crazy mood swings. Uh, that's that's just evident to me. Yeah, clearly. ...of a biblical, supernatural worldview. Although they claim to believe the Bible and that the Bible is inspired and all <laughs> over the Bible... <laughs> it's hard to even take that seriously anymore, isn't it? Like, the Bible. Yeah. I, the Bible yeah. I, keep, I keep hearing it in my head when he says the Bible. <laughs> yeah events that are recorded and, and discussed, they still have in real life a hard time to accept supernatural things. Now, let me pause here. I will have a, view, a future video coming out talking about the Kundalini false spirit Cunnilingus? invasion. Cunnilingus? <laughs> I, I was thinking I will, the same thing. Yeah. I will be talking about Cunnilingus in my <laughs> upcoming video. It's like, okay, cool. Yeah. On. Cool. Man, Mara's getting cool. The emergent church Pentecostal. Can you imagine Mario giving him like sex tips? Oh god! <laughs> you know how how to eat um, the booty. Denominations. There is a false spirit that's entered with such things as holy laughter and the people holy. falling down and barking like dogs and all holy. sorts of strange manifestations of the macaroni. spirit that I tell you. If you discern them, they Come are on, not. Come on, point true. up higher. We'll They're, we'll we'll take you more seriously. A Bible called the Toronto blessing. That was nothing more than the Toronto curse. Stay tuned for my. I keep wait, waiting for me to make like the OK sign, like Trump always does. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trump Seems does air. He does air chop, air chop, air yeah. chop. OK sign like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! It's true. False spirits have invaded the church. But church, just because false spirits have invaded the church, let us not throw out the baby with the bathwater and- I'm like, I'm sure like a point when all, where like all of this just becomes fucking silly. Um, Spiritual yes. warfare, you know, th this is a, a war on, on Christ. I think know? Mario's always been silly, to be honest. Yeah, but I mean like, it, I checked the comments on this and the like to dislike ratio. There are like hundreds of people like, yep, you got oh, yeah. it. Mario's got, like, a dedicated following. A lot of people, like, really believe in what he has to say. I guess better him than some other, like, crazy batshit Christian. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what Your that was. Left. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Some, some weird, but, but, like, Windows 7 sound effect just played. No, that, that, that's all I was saying. Like, <sighs> you know, uh, uh, Mario's probably a better alternative than some of the other crazy people out there. But, like, still, at the same time, like, he has a really dedicated following and, and a base. Yeah, it's like, he's not as bad, but he's still full of shit, so... I, I don't think he's as bad, because he seems like a decent guy, and, you know, he he's actually fair about when it comes to, like, copyright shit and shit like that. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have a problem with Mario as a person. He's just fun and easy to make fun he's of. He's weird. Because of what he's like. He's weird. I yeah. sent him a, um... <laughs> I sent him a picture one time on Facebook of oh, yeah. of this uh, a f Freemason. It, it was like a Masonic thing that I found at a thrift store. Yeah. I took a picture of it, and he was like, yeah, that's satanic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. No. Uh, it, it sucks he got hacked because I'd, like, I'd love to see you have him on again sometime because he, he's he funny. Hacked? He's funny. Yeah, he got yeah, hacked his, on Facebook. His old Facebook is just a fucking mess. It's so bad. Like his old Facebook group. Oh my god, it's oh, so bad. God, 
I can only imagine. Yeah. I can't believe Facebook doesn't go and clean that kind of shit up. You know, I don't know. Same thing happened to Dusty's Facebook group that he had. It had like thousands of people in it. I think it had more people than the DP one did. And uh, yeah, it just went to fucking shit because the person who made it was like, nope, it's, it's not about you anymore, Dusty. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's why you should always start your own Facebook groups, people. Always start your own Facebook groups. That's true forget that we are called to engage in supernatural warfare through fasting and prayer and seeking the Lord. Okay, so stay tuned for that because I know that's a concern to many people and I agree it is. But let's not go to the other extreme and think that there is no more supernatural power that is available to the Christian out there. Oh. Now, I first noticed this large group of Christians when I first so came to the church. So what is he trying to say here that like He's trying to say Christians. like if you're if you're like a real Christian, you have to buy into all of this shit. Even if it doesn't make any sense to you, just like believe it cuz the the Bible said so. I mean that that's basically what he says in every single fucking video. So he's just trying to I mean, I guess I'm not surprised cuz every single one of Mario's videos are him trying to find a new way to say the same shit. At least the ones that aren't him talking about like a specific piece of media. But damn. <laughs> It's like, I've, you, I'm, I'm, we've done this quite a few times on Underhaven where we just watch a video for like a few minutes and we, we talk about it. Sometimes we go on side tangents and then we just realize, hey, wait a minute, this guy's just saying the same thing he always says. It's like, hot damn. Damn. Church. I came from the New Age movement and my awareness of the supernatural realm was massive. I find it very <laughs> shocking today. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. New Agers, people who practice astrology and tarot card and contacting angels and spirits have a greater awareness for the most part than Christians of the supernatural. More New Agers are aware that there is a spirit realm that there are I think Mar is starting to fa fall back into his old mindsets because... That's awesome. Man. He used to like do a bunch of drugs and listen to like heavy metal and shit. So maybe uh, go back yeah, to that. Actually, Go back to this, yeah, because I miss. Let, let's let's see the old Mario. Isn't Dusty a yeah. beautiful bird? Yeah, yeah. It'll be like an, like an awkward teenage phase. It's like we're not gonna talk about the things you did and said and how you acted. We're just gonna forget about that. It's cool. Yeah, you know what, Mario? I I, I know that you say that marijuana has been one of your biggest like struggles and addictions over the years, but you should come on our show and smoke a blunt with us, and yeah, it'll be a fun time, it. man. Yeah, we we we, we won't. We don't give you shit or anything. We'll just do what we normally do and watch fucking videos and you can hang out with us and have a fun time. How's that sound, Mario? Vaughn Helton. <laughs> but dude, Vaughn Von Helton, imagine if Vaughn Helton came, agreed to come on here and smoke a doobie and hang out uh, with us. I don't, I don't, does he, <laughs> does he smoke? Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if he does or, or doesn't, but he seems like he probably might. I don't know. He probably might. Yeah. <laughs> he probably, probably might. might. Probably most definitely likely might. might. I don't know. Is it bad that I think that just because he's a pagan that he'd be more accepting than that? Than like, you I was, know, I was thinking people? more about like his lack of teeth. I feel like that might be a result of drug abuse, but I, I would Yeah, uh, maybe. I, it could I, be. I don't know. It could be. I mean, like his story just doesn't make any sense. It's like... Oh, yeah, I forgot to say this earlier. I, I, what, I, had, what? I had vampire teeth, so my mom took them all out. Yeah, I think I, it's... I've said this to you, Ben, but I don't know if you've actually like seen me say it to you yet. But he claims to be a descendant of Vladimir the Impaler. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 you told me yeah. about this. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, I just think he lives in a place where it's pretty common to be missing a bunch of teeth. Yeah. yeah and uh, yeah, that that happens when yeah, you when you, you live in the, the backwoods. Behind that uh, commonality might be. Uh. Poverty, um, yeah, that's true. like eating like, shit, uh, access like not not having access to like dental care, uh, getting like gum diseases will make your teeth fall out. Like yep. getting, uh, I mean, he, I I see him drinking Gym Mountain Dew. Gelitis. He drinks Mountain Dew all the time. Yeah, so I know that. That's, that's not all good I've ever seen teeth. him drink before. Yeah. Um. So he, he doesn't have to worry about that now. Burritos. He'll come on yeah, our I'm, show. I'm not going to say, like, I definitively know this. Because I, I don't. But, no. I mean, 
judging from the fact that he did actually have access to dental care when that happened, I mean, like, I don't know. To me, yeah. it just... It, I've had to learn matter. more than I care to learn about Von Helton ever since, like, we've started playing his videos on the show, because I want to actually have context to it. And man, I just like, wish I could forget it all. If all of that was, like, a reason for it, I would just be like, alright, fine, you know, that's that's unfortunate. No, what? But if if he's doing... He gets, he, Instead, he comes on and he tells this fucking absurd story where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm a descendant of Vlad the Impaler, and yeah. that's why I don't have any teeth. <laughs> my it's mom like, was afraid I, of me. Yeah. Yeah. Am I just supposed to believe that? No, I'm going to make up my own mind on that. Sorry, oh, come Zana. on, dude. His mom knocked them out to break the family curse. It's the only oh, way. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have became, uh, you know, like the Vlad new the Dracula. Yeah. yeah, he would have he would have taken over that the world. That would have been awesome. Okay, Wait. it could have either been Dracula or Von Helden living in a fucking trailer in, like, some dump of a town making I think shitty this is videos, a... which, like, five Von... people <laughs> peace watch. He's Von Helsing. I think this <laughs> is, is it... like, a plot to a Castlevania game, now that I think about it. Yeah, Von Helsing. We we watched the original Dracula movie, and uh, when we saw Van Helsing in there, we, we called him Von Helsing. Von Helden. Oh, yeah, Von <laughs> Helsing. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's awesome. You're wrong. I, I think we're done with this. I think we're going to yeah. wrap it up. Let's wrap it up, yeah. Wrap it up. All right. Thank you, Ben, for being on. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I need to uh, explain where they can find Ben, because, I mean, like, our yeah. audience, 90% yeah. of it is, like, you know, DP fans. So, But I will say this, though. Uh, tomorrow on Sunday, The Altered Perspective is, is going to be live. So check that out. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. But thank See you again then. for coming on our show. Anytime you can come on. Uh, but, yeah, thank you. All right, peace out. No problem. Later. Take it easy. Talking about Maryland, asking about heroin, I'm back on meth again, the perfect medicine for a Methodist kid, sadistic sick shit to lift my limp dick, brand new breed of preacher, the preacher of the doctrine, indoctrinating the nation of the brain dead, I've been a brain in your head, makes you hate it, you ain't hate it, then you wasted. I hate to tell the truth, but I'm a cannibal, though I don't need brains like that motherfucker Hannibal, I'm real fucked up, I like to torture my poon, cut out their damn eyes with a grapefruit spoon, are you fake drug addicts, you're real bad at it, you're middle school lunch, ain't no